Uh oh. Hey guys, Tyler is awesome too here. Today I'm gonna discuss a thing that I'm just sick and tired of hearing. Wow, I almost said, said the F word there. Er. <clears throat> Thank God I didn't. Is that Peter Parker is some sacred special thing who does things that only sacred special people can do. Only he can be a science expert nerd. Only he can have spider powers. Only he can be a superhero and save the world. Which is nonsense and childish and controlling and definitely self-inflicted. I mean, seriously. What the heck, guys? Okay, first tier was just lucky. He's just a really good sex, okay? Is, is that... Well, I think I should... I think Spider-Man's being good at science should be treated more like a practice. I think what Marvel Spider-Man John 17 should have done is invoke on intelligence as something earned. Just saying it makes for more easy way to live for everyone, but also gives people their own PO cap. <coughs> their own, well, PO? PO? Perspective character. POV character, yeah. To relate to. It's not that hard. And even if Peter is still an expert, there's still some things he has to learn about science, you know? And there's a... I don't know why he's distract me with that. Should just pause there, but... Anyways, this whole only against bad powers thing that's also kind of dumb. That's just it, we have spider first. And we all love Spider-Verse, right? And it's not Matt Miles. So I think it's not dumb to st retarded to say that. And there's finally only he can be a superhero thing. He should never get any other superhero thing. That's again dumb since seen directly like with the Fantastic Four in his very second appearance and in the first issue of his own comic book series. Okay. Lots of a team up and more just happy, even more like misunderstanding thing. And even to watch it inadvertently help him two issues later. And the first proper team I went to like issue A, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Spider Man's been interacting with superheroes, other Marvel heroes since like his early days, you know? Just never in his first appearance. Very self-contained. Oh, and, and this whole... Did she say anything about how this morning cast can only be good as normal people? That's... Again... Well, Flash is fun interaction with the... Flash having the Venom symbiote and... Yeah, those fun interactions with him having that Venom symbiote. Wait. It's... It's ancient Venom design. Come on, man. In the Ultimate Marvel Universe, when Liz discovered she was a... Mutant and well, and her father's the blob and all that. Or Harry trying to redeem himself, or Norman for that matter. Gotten legacy be redeemed, like that stuff. Darn it, why am I keep doing this? Or a black cat. Like, you no, know, like she playing crime with Spider Man just to be with him. Or the lizard, like Helping Spider Man sometimes. Seriously, what that? Or Venom becoming an anti hero or What's with that? All that stuff, yeah. 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 As I continue to say. Or what about the other cat, or well, uh, other heroes that debuted in Spider-Man's mythology, or anti-heroes like Morbius or 
cloak and dagger or well there are no not mention because I'm lazy or what about other or those other Marvel heroes like it's fun interaction with the Iron Man Wolverine with the human torch like really you can't complain about that and there's the whole only he can save the world, which is just a very bad message for everyone. Really. It's a super bad message. Just, this is a Brat Bird movie type situation that's just stupid. Not a great message. Yeah. Okay, just look at this season one finale of Spectacular Spider Man. Does when he Gwen's in danger, does and he was able to catch her when her the venom web breaks. Was he able to like uh, perfectly swing by and drop her, or 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 was it after venom knocks him out while carrying well. Pete's carrying her, does Pete like shoot a web and she's safe? Well, actually, no. Not at all. Pete's classmates came to help with the, with a, well, part of the, ten of the parade balloon, and they help her, and Pete says thanks for helping him, and Flash tells Spidey to go get him, you know? Yeah, that. And speaking of Gwen, after Pete lifts all that rubble, does was he able to like able to get the strength, able to just grab Gwen and super coolly escape? No, he gets tired from lifting all that rubble, and Gwen has to carry him and and summering his their way out of the base. Well, what about when he? When Martha Connors is able to make this lizard serum, well, he has to, you know, fight the lizard, or, you know, uh, there are other examples, but, uh, I don't feel like mentioning them. And do you think the spectacular Spider-Man was always meant to be a single superhero show from the beginning? And, actually, Ray Wiseman actually planned for other Marvel heroes to show up, like Wolverine, Captain America, and the Hulk, and Iron Man, and well, and well, it would have been likely around, like, at the end of season four, some of the Batman had spectacular Spider-Man not been canceled prematurely. And there's the, and don't get me started on the whole, you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us, which is corny, but a good moment. And also in Spider-Man 2, when people, like, you had to get through me to, you know, because Ock wants Spider-Man, you know, or, or, you know, in main Spider-Man 1, where, you know, the crane thing, or Gwen helping him build movies, or, dad helping, dad helping? Being beaten in, in the home trilogy. I mean, they're probably gonna run out of home names at this point. <laughs> or, or Doctor Strange had to help him with having his identity secret again, which results in him basically the memories of him, of him in the in the, his universe being. Gone, so no one remembers him at all, or, 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 you know, or Spider-Man. The anime series just sometimes has Spider-Man with uh, other heroes and whatnot. Or, and, and, and well, or we're not Spider-Man's amazing friends, like the real one. Which whole premise is him teaming with Ice Man and Firestar, or I got. It's just, 
I can ramble on and on, but let's your face, Peter Parker, not a sacred special thing, who does things that only sacred special people can do. It's okay to hang out with other nerd people, superheroes, and need help saving the day. And if sporting cats can be superheroes, that's optional. Except Randy Robinson. She should never be a superhero. Ever. He's perfect as a normal person. And well. It's just that when Stanley created Spider Man, he said he says, Well he wants someone he creates Spider Man to be like more like you and me and being a teenager teenager and all that. And well he never sets up any rules like only he can be a smart ass, only he can can be a superhero, only he can save the world, his supporting cast should not be superheroes or his villains should be redeemed or he shouldn't have his body swap or or deal with the devils. I mean, people still hang out still today, okay? or his own his own company. Though if he did with Harry, basically. Also, if body switching is inflatable, why is ballet an alien is? I mean, come on. That's actually next. I mean, I can believe they, they can deal with the devil thing, but... But the alien thing, going to a secret war, Spider-Verse, come on. So, yeah, when I write Spider-Man stories, so no, I don't have them down restricting these restricting rules, like, so no, my Spider-Man story, might not feature Iron Man or Wolverine, and the well, another story might. And no, my Spider Man story will not feature him making Joe the devil, but him having having to wipe the memories of every one of him completely is like okay, I guess. A similar situation, but different. So yeah, no, my Spider-Man stories won't feature Peter being the only nerd person, and we'll have Harry being a fun nerd guy as well. My story won't, it won't feature, it will feature other superheroes, some of the sporting cast coming superheroes. And, again, except Randy. Come on. And my only one story won't feature Peter being the only person able to save the day. And other people can do it regardless if they're superheroes or have superpowers or not. And if Marvel should be allowed to express this, then we should do. And not set Spider-Man as supporting cast in his world with these childish, controlling, self-inflicting, and well... Well, these dumb, arbitrary rules that have never been confirmed at all by Stanley, Steve Ditko, or anyone. And if you want to express a story, is about solo hero Spider-Man being the friendless, geeky nerd who has to deal with the pressure of saving the world by himself, that's fine. I'm not saying it's bad storytelling, I'm just saying it's kind of a bad message. Kind of. I'm Tyler Awesome too, you know the drill. Peace.